important. You're asking who, who, who will the conference move to impeach? The reason why I'm introducing these articles is because I would, I would say about 75% of the base um, of Republican voters, and then I, I would argue even more Americans, maybe that are not necessarily Republicans, they could be independents, and some of them could be Democrats, agree with impeachment because there's never any consequences for anyone in the federal government when regular American citizens face consequences all the time. And I'm introducing these articles um, because this is what people are demanding. They're demanding it and asking for it. And after talking to legal experts and analyzing the situation, it is the right thing to do. And it's, it is a rare thing to do, but it is the right thing to do because we are living in extraordinary times. The way our country is right now shouldn't be this way. And we have a duty, we have a duty as, as an elected office holder, as a representative, I have a duty, but so does other elective office holders. And I'll argue even more, employees in the federal government have a duty to the American people. We shouldn't be in the debt we're in, our borders should not be wide open. We shouldn't have lost tens of thousands of children. They shouldn't be in, working in, in slavery uh, in, in places that we don't even know, but even the New York Times wrote up a big piece about that. These things should not be happening. So we have a duty to impeach people. And our, thankfully our founding fathers gave us that right. Yes. Yes, I, yes, I have, of course. I have great respect for Republican leadership and, and I, I want to work with my colleagues um, in the conference, but more importantly, I, I would like to work with every single member of Congress. There's 435 of us. You can look at us like a, um, in a, a board of executives. Uh, that's how I, I view this government is it should be operating more like a company. We have 435 representatives. We should operate like a board of executives making good decisions for the country, which we should view the country as our customers, the American people. That's who we work for. Um, so yes, I have talked with them. I'll be introducing, uh, this is just the first set of articles of impeachments I'm introducing on Joe Biden. And this one has to do with his absolute failure, um, purposeful failure to, to protect the states. As the president of the United States, he swears an oath, oath of office. And part of that oath of office means that he has to defend the states. He is not defending the safety and the security of all 50 states in our country. Uh, the fact that so many illegals are entering all these states and being at the taxpayer's expense, flown on airplanes, uh, driven on buses all over the country to go to any community all over America where every single, every single town has become a border town and every single state has become a border state. That is why he must be impeached. But the death, allowing the death of over 300 Americans every single day is like allowing uh, people to be murdered every single day. It's just allowing it to happen and allowing murder, allowing crimes to be committed against American citizens is an absolute failure of the president of the United States. But I'll go further. I'm very invested into, into the investigations that we're doing on the Oversight Committee. These investigations are serious. And what we are reading in SARS reports and what we, have, what we are seeing and studying in bank records, and we have more coming, we are only partly into this investigation. It's only been a couple of months. What we are finding out about not only Hunter Biden, which was known from the Biden laptop, from his laptop, but denied and lied about by 51 people, members of the intelligence community, who I'll tell you right now, those 51 should have their security clearances stripped from them. And I'll argue further that some of them should go to jail for what they did and how they abused their authority on the, on the, on the television, to lying to all of you and, and lying to the American people. But the fact that that happened to cover up, and I, again, I'll go with this. These people abuse their power and their authority because they put party over country. It's party over country for them. It's not the country first. And they, they have done a major cover up 
But what we've un uncovered on in the oversight committee is, is shocking. It's shocking. And I'll tell you what, I don't think it just goes to the Bidens alone. I guarantee you there are many others in Washington that are doing the very same thing, getting uh, millions of dollars into fake LLCs and paying themselves or their family or who knows out of these LLCs. That's what the Bidens have been doing. And, and very soon, very soon, once we get through this investigation, I think we will have very credible articles of impeachment on that issue as well.